Send the bombing over, please. Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lille. Shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Yes, sir. You know, I'll have one of those. So will I. Certainly. My friend, bring me one as well. Keep the fruit. Right. Uh, hello, everyone. So today we're going to be making the Vespar Martini as created by Ian Fleming in the original Casino Royale novel. Obviously, it was created and invented by him, named by him in that original book. Of course, Daniel Craig orders it in Casino Royale and in Quantum of Solace as well. Um, so we're going to be doing that. It's probably the most prominent known Bond drink besides a regular vodka martini. This is probably the original Bond martini. So we're just going to make that today. What do you need? Uh, gin. Now he says gin in the film, Gordon's. That's what we're using today. Uh, vodka wise I'm using Ciroc because I prefer Ciroc. It's my favourite vodka and it's also nice for a regular vodka martini as well. And Lele Blanc. Now to make people aware the original recipe was gin, Gordon's gin, vodka and Kina Lily. You can no longer get Kina Lily in the world, it's not possible to get. This is the next best thing that you can get. Um, and you can get these pretty much anywhere. Uh, as long as you look online, you'll get them pretty much anywhere for decent prices as well. And obviously, you want the cocktail glass, fill it with ice to make it cold because you want it to have it cold. And obviously, James Bond has his... Uh, martini shaking, so we'll be shaking it as well. And we want a slice of lemon peel as well. Uh, first things first, he says three measures of Gordon's, so that's three measures of gin to begin with. So one. Two, three, three of those. One of vodka. This is full measures, full me full three measures of gin and vodka. Let me do that. You're only going to be doing half a measure of the way. Right. And that's that. And then what you do is I take the ice from the glass and I just empty it on the paper. And then shake it. Now, when, how long do you shake it for? Until it's too cold to hold. That's when you're done. And then run with it. It's quite misty, but that's okay. That's expected when you shake it. And then you just take your uh, sliced lemon, put it around the side, then just dip it. And then that is how you make the Vespa Martini. And it's nice. And that's it. Simple as that. Those are the ingredients, shaker, and there you have it. Very easy to make, very nice, and I recommend it to every Bond fan. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.